Are you ready to take the oath, Senator? Oh, yeah. Repeat after me. I, Lionel Danger Bitchy, do solemnly swear. <coughs> I, Lionel Danger Bitchy, do solemnly swear. That I will execute the office of holymoly.com faithfully. That I will execute. Faith, oh, faith. faithfully. Twat! You fucking ruined it! Now people won't remember this day for being the first moment a ginger person was taken seriously. No! They'll just remember your stupid fuck up! Get out of my sight! Oh, Jesus, let's, let's just move on. We've all had a drink. Let's have a bit of a calm down. This week on HolyMoly.com, we spoke to Dancing on Ice Failure, Gemma Blissix, and got her to explain why her dildo collection is so sought after. They're made of leather rather than those horrible plastic things. Yes. But this week's Friday show is all about celebrities' hidden talents, like Michelle Heaton being able to recite Bruised from memory. Matt, what the FNL is going on? <laughs> Hello, Internet viewer, and welcome to the Holy Moly office. This week, we're talking all about hidden talent. Now, you may not know, but my hidden talent is actually being a fire juggler. I'm quite good, and I'll be doing it around the office this week. Everyone here loves it, don't you guys? I think he's pulling a sickie. Now, some celebrities are so good at doing things that aren't their jobs that they make those things that aren't their jobs, their jobs. Like Harry Hill, who was a doctor, until he examined himself and realised he had an overinflated funny bone and became a comedian. <laughs> Do you get it? Because doctors deal with bones, right? And he's a comedian, so he's funny, and the funny bone is a part of the body. Then there's Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's firmly left behind action movies for politics. As far as blockbusters are concerned, he won't be back. <laughs> Do you get it? Because in the movie he says, I'll be back. But actually, he, w he won't be back at all. And Johnny Burrell, who used to be a musician before he became a self-obsessed posing twat. <laughs> Do you get it? Because he's a twat. Now, some celebrities do possess hidden talents, but what are they? In the case of Nadine Call from Girls Aloud, uh, probably non-existent. But she's not letting that stand in the way of her dreams of becoming an actress. Yes, Nadine Coyle from Girls Aloud has revealed that she's going to take some time away from the band to go to Hollywood and start an acting career. I'm telling you, her range is huge. She can do pouty. Pouty. And pouty. Over the last few years, it's been clear that Nadine has had the passion of an actor inside her. He's called Jesse Metcalf. But don't worry, this doesn't mean the end of Girls Aloud. I mean, they're still keeping the band and doing all their side projects. Yeah, Nicola's got her makeup range for ghosts. Sarah Harding is acting in a credit crunch drama. Cheryl Cole is busy tugging Simon Cowell. Away from all of the good acts on The X Factor so that she can get to them. And Kimberly Walsh is, uh, um, 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 uh, um, uh, uh, guess she could take up gardening or something. <laughs> and then there are the hidden talents of actor Joaquin Phoenix. Now, as well as vying for Owen Quigg's number one slot on the list of stupidly spelt names, Joaquin has revealed his hidden talent is rapping. If there's some of that going on, I'd love to get involved. I said rapping. Yes, Joaquin's packed in the acting, the good looks, and all of his integrity to follow the hip-hop dream, faux show. Sure. This week, he put on a performance that was more cringeworthy and less credible than when Richard Madeley dressed up as Ali G. Still, at least he may get a contract with Asda. That's Asda Price. Now, to complete his hip-hop look, Joaquin has invested in a beanie hat and also grown some unnecessary body hair. <laughs> no, not that. I, I meant a beard, allowing Joaquin to join the ranks of bearded men everywhere who take themselves too seriously, like Noel Edmonds. I am going to single-handedly save Great Britain. Osama Bin Laden. I am going to let Noel Edmonds save Great Britain and then destroy it. 
and God. Oh, come on, I'm not serious. Mm. What, you think I'm serious? Maybe. What, uh, what, what does that mean? Well, you know, all the smiting and the poxes. Hey, I quit that ages ago. Yeah, I suppose so, but, you know, you're, you still struggle sometimes. With, with what? When do I struggle? You're just, um, you know, not as open-minded as some people. Are you really trying to bring this up again? No. Well, are you? Look, it is my choice. I have told you it is not appropriate. I can do what I want. Does it make you feel that uncomfortable? Will you please just put your shirt on? I think it's fair to say that for Joaquin's new talent, there really is only one way for him to go. And something tells me it's not up. But surely there must be some celebrities with decent hidden talents out there. To find out, I went to the very worthy South Bank Awards show. First up to display her many talents was the ever so sexy Sophie Ellis Baxter. Uh, have you got any hidden talents, Sophie Ellis yeah, Baxter? Think, well, um, I have a party trick. Um, so I can tie a cherry stalk in a knot with my tongue. You're joking? No, it's... How on earth do you do that? Because normally... Know, it's a lot easier than it looks. So really? Have a go. You might be one, well, of, them, one of us too. But would you not need two tongues in order to do that, to grapple each end of the cherry stalk? Well, have a go and find out for yourself. Have it's a go. Right. If, if I come into any trouble, can I borrow your tongue? <laughs> <laughs> Seconds later, she called security. I then spoke to Frost Nixon star Michael Sheen, who had clearly stolen my haircut. But what was his hidden talent? I can do the theme tune to Dallas whilst humming and doing the percussion at the same time. Can we get a Would you slight like to sample okay. this? I haven't done this for a while. was genuinely brilliant. It's put me in the mood to see what John Sims hidden talent must be. I bet it's something really, really exciting. Do you have any hidden talents as well, John Sim? Hidden? Mm. Um, no. Yeah, never mind. Back to you, Lionel. Hoo-ha! And will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect and defend the constant... St ah! 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 Ah!